A heartbreaking plea tonight from a Des Moines pastor. He is desperately trying to help five young children who recently lost both their mother and their father. KCCI's Amanda Rooker reports they need all the support they can get. On a cold January night, this crowded, humid apartment on Des Moines South Side was packed. The grief and sorrow heavy, the emotion beyond words. Family, friends, and church members huddled together, sharing stories, songs, and prayers, mourning the loss of a father of five. Bazarake Korea died on Friday in an icy car crash. Just four months earlier, his wife died during childbirth. Now five children are left without their parents. Korea had been the sole source of income for his family. His parents are now taking care of their five grandchildren, but both are sick. And with no job, no food, and nowhere to live, they say they're worried with nowhere to turn. Grandma and the grandpa, they can live together, but they don't work. How are they going to pay the rent? Where are they going to live? What are they going to do? They don't drive. Who are going to take them to the appointment? Who are going to give them transportation? They don't speak English. So to navigate daily life, it's the biggest challenge. Where the kids are going to live? Where, how are they going to get food? You hear she was saying, how are we going to get the food? How are we going to get the clothes? Even the rent for this month, I don't know where I'm going to get it. The refugee family from the Democratic Republic of Congo had just moved to Des Moines two years ago. Their pastor is now working to get the help, support, and the funds they need. <laughs> clinging together and clinging to hope in the midst of tragedy. Five kids, which young age, uh, this is our tomorrow doctors, tomorrow lawyers, tomorrow they're going to give back to the community. So we, we need to show love. We need to show uh, caring of these kids. So I would like to ask anyone, please, please, to, to help these kids. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! So many people have already been messaging wanting to help. If you'd like to support in any way, you can find the pastor's contact information and a link to the GoFundMe on our website, kcci.com, as well as on our mobile app, KCCI mobile app.